Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We have two, two leagues to do today. Quarantine Madness started a little bit earlier today, about four hours ago. This is a daily league, so we have to do this one every single day, as well as a rural world season two uh which ends in three hours so by the time this is going up you should have like 20 fucking minutes to go and do this uh this is a minute timer same with the quarantine madness you're not allowed to move but you are allowed to zoom and rotate in a rural world and quarantine madness you are allowed to move this is a three quarantine madness is a two I know it doesn't say it on here, but I know it's a two. So we have we have two leaks to do today. Both of them should only take us about seven minutes. So it's going to be about your average length of an episode. But we're doing two, two separate pro leagues. Now, episode 600 is going to be this week. Still haven't gotten any suggestions on what to do, so I'm not too sure. We might go and finish a map, because I've never actually finished a single fucking map I've made. Uh, we just have to update a few things. If anyone wants to make a map, you are free to do so. Just post it in the YouTube section. It might get flagged as spam, but I'll be checking every day and I'll be unflagging it. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue if it does get flagged. Um, but it's coming up, man. It's coming up. We're going to start with the rural world because that ends sooner, even though it's going to take us six minutes with load. Uh, and then after this, we are going to move to the Quarantine Madness. If you're only here for one of those leagues, that's fine. Skip ahead. You'll be able to watch it. Uh, Rural World Season 2, play current leg. Now, this is going to be the same map, all 50 legs, in the middle of Bumblefuck Nowhere, with zooming and rotating. Are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? I hope so. And this is our first location. Now, based off of the dirt, I don't think it's going to be Brazil. We do have what appears to be EU style uh, telephone poles. We do have some stuff in the background, right hand side. Eh, I don't know if that's EU style. We might be able to get away with Brazil, but the dirt doesn't feel very red. We're not supposed to move. We could look at the leaves, but I've never been good uh, when it comes to stuff like this. I think down here is going to be our best guess now i can't see the sun it definitely feels like it's to our south but that's just because it's brighter over that way you know it could be directly overhead it's, it's tough to tell uh and we're going to do our best to not move intentionally can't really get on anything from that license plate it does feel elongated but there's no blue bar that looks like maybe water maybe and it ends up being southern Brazil. Now, Roland, Roland had a real good fucking guess here. Real good fucking guess. Uh, but it ends up being Bombinhas. So we were right about it being Brazil. But we were not right about where in Brazil it was. So definitely something we got to keep in mind. Uh, kind of feels like a dirt gravel road. I could see this being North Canada. I could see this being like Estonia. Uh, perhaps even Serbia, Siberia. I meant to say Serbia. Don't worry. It's definitely European. Definitely European here. We might be able to go away with Middle, Bumblefuck, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia. I don't know too much about this Oblesk, so we're going to probably have to say that it's not that. Uh, the fact that it's a dirt gravel road, that should be a telling sign Again, we can't really see the sun. Kind of depressing. But luck of the draw, right? That's pretty much what it comes down to. It doesn't feel like it's warm, but it doesn't feel like it's cold. We got your typical, like, weeds. I'm going to call these. I don't think they're actually, like, wanted. Same with the grass. The grass is a little high. And it ends up being Bumblefuck Russia right over by North Korea. Really, really interesting. 
I figured the dirt gravel road, we always guess this oblast when it's a dirt gravel road. I didn't think it was going to be Russia. I thought it was going to be close to Russia, but I didn't quite think it was going to be Russia. And then we get number three. A uh, bunch of wind farms, thin, narrow roads. I can't tell which way that vehicle is driving. This one's definitely to our south, so we got to be in the northern hemisphere. Maybe Ireland or England. I don't think... Ah, there's a lack of trees. We could probably get away with Iceland. I don't think it's the Faroe Islands. Although I could be wrong here. It's probably not Svalbard. There are a lot of trees over here, though. Ah, thin, narrow roads. Sun to our south. I don't know where any of these windmills are going to be, but I do know people don't like to see them. Uh, so there's usually not a lot of people around when you see windmills, which makes sense for a rural world. It does feel like we're kind of on the right-hand side, though, but that car looks like it's on the left. And it does end up being north, uh, well, technically south Scotland, uh, but northern UK. I did say it felt like the UK, Ireland. I gotta start trusting my gut, man. Uh, definitely another European location. Could be Japan. It could be Japan. Especially with the fields we got set up. We do have a bunch of mountains. Although we don't have any markings on any of these telephone poles. Which you would normally expect in Japan. Doesn't really feel like we're low either. So what if, what if we go like Eastern Romania? It could be Bulgaria. If this was rice, which we're, we're usually able to tell it's a rice field, uh, we would definitely go Japan. Maybe could be Korea. That's like a greenhouse. But again, there's no markings on any of these telephone poles. And we usually see that in Japan and or Taiwan. We'll have the yellow and the black down there. The sun's kind of to our south, so we know we're in the north. Dude, this is fucking tough. Like, really fucking tough. And it ends up being Korea. God damn. We, uh, we're not gonna break 10 grand. Nice tropical feel. You can see the back of the car and it's black. I forget what that means. Uh, is it the Philippines because of the black car? Fuck. It definitely feels tropical. I know it's over here. I don't think it's Cambodia. I think it's going to be the Philippines. I don't think it's Indonesia. I don't think it's Malaysia. God damn it, man. God fucking damn it. Um, definitely tough, but that's what you get. It's supposed to be no moving. You're only supposed to be able to come in, first instinct, guess, move on with your life right the, the fact that we're not allowed to move but we are allowed to zoom and pan that's nice it allows us to kind of deal with the circumstances because some of these locations are just they're impossible they're, they're always going to be impossible there's no way around it and it ends up being indonesia which i think it was the palm trees that told me i wanted to go with the philippines and i'm pretty sure the sun was to the south we were really close to the equator here so we probably shouldn't have paid attention to that. Uh, but we're walking away with like under 5,000 points. Look at these fucking guesses, man. Brazil ends up being like our best fucking guess. That's pretty bad. So Roland coming in first place at 23, which is really fucking good. Like really fucking good. Uh, Alec in second at 20,000 geography challenges at 18, Simi at 17. So it really does go to show that like not being able to move has a huge effect on people's scores. Uh, we're probably top 50. Yeah, Wolf Trekker in 38th, we're at 45th. Let's see, has Debray played? Because I got to message them to play if they have not. Uh, Tintanic beating me. So good job, Tin. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like Debray's played yet. So we'll have to message Debray. And let them know that they got to play. I don't even know if they signed up for this league. But we do need to go to our second league of the day. Which is Quarantine Madness. Now, we are allowed to move here. Alright? We can move. It's still one minute time limit though. 
So we need to be careful about when we move and which direction we move. Because it's going to come down to, did we go in the correct direction? Yes or no. Uh, at this point, we're ending probably top 50 for day one, which really means we suck and we need to improve. Uh, so hopefully we can get some tips and tricks from you guys, because you guys seem to be doing a lot better than we are. It just comes down to region, right? So I feel like the better plants knowledge you have, telephone knowledge, all that nonsense, it's kind of uh, how you're going to succeed. Quarantine Madness. Now, I believe there's 31 different maps. Uh, each map will be represented one time. I don't know which map we're going to get. There was a warning that we could get some photospheres. If you do get a photosphere, obviously you can't move. Uh, but hopefully that won't be too much of an issue with us. But it is still a one-minute timer, and we still are able to move. So this is a guessable world. Now, I don't actually know who is in charge of a guessable world, but it's definitely in Spanish. Let's go South America real quick. We only have a minute. Uh, sun does appear to be kind of to our south, so we are probably in Mexico. We do have a yellow divider line, which should help us, although it doesn't. Oh, you can't Yucatan. That's the Yucatan Peninsula right down here. Uh but that's that's the extent of our fucking knowledge. Construction the Banos, the Manuel, the Pirata, and the Yucatan. Uh it doesn't really tell us where in this area we are. Now the entire thing is called the Yucatan Peninsula. Let's just kinda go in the middle. We need as many points as we could fucking get because we really fucking suck in round one. Uh, however, if you don't post your score to the Reddit, it doesn't really count. And since we don't have a Reddit account, we're not going to be posting it. However, we're going to pretend that we exist uh, because I think we exist. It looks like Roland is in first place. Again, it ends up being the eastern end of the Yucatan Peninsula. But we went with the safe bet. Uh, only 500 points off, which isn't that bad. And there's actually a town called Manuel Cepeda Pereza. So if we would have known that was a town name instead of a person's name, we may have been able to find it. However, with only a minute to be able to do a lot of these things, we probably wouldn't have. Now, is this an island? Dude, it's a... Oh, okay, it's a reef. Thank fucking God. I was going to say there's never been a fucking island here. I've been to this area. All right, number two. Uh, feels like a market. We could probably get away with Bhutan here. Oh, nope, we're probably South America again. I think, if anything, it's going to be Chile. Because here is all this wonderful information for us. Uh, maybe we could get away with Peru. It's Peru, Chile. I'm going to guess more Peru, though. For no apparent reason, except that we have their flag right here. So, I don't think we're in Lima, but we're going to guess near Lima. Because it definitely feels like a city. We're definitely going through a marketplace. I can't tell if we're walking, or on a motorcycle, or what. But I'm glad we were able to see the flag. Can we get any other information out of this? Underwear. I'm so glad you can walk on the streets of Peru and buy underwear at a street vendor. Where else are you going to buy it? Is that a stock pile of toilet paper? Oh, God, I'm going crazy. Uh, we have a nice little monument here. It's probably important to know where that is. I don't. And it actually ends up being the border of Peru and Bolivia. Uh, with Roland getting a really good fucking score here. Now, that last second where we were was the border. We found the border. It only took us 59 and a half seconds to find it. But we found it. Uh, so if we would have found that a little bit sooner, we might have probably gone with the Chile border. Uh, which would have given us a lot more points. But Bolivia exists, and I gotta remember that Bolivia exists. Now, we do have white, white, and white, so we're probably going to be in the Eastern Hemisphere. Villa, Etna, Restaurant, Pizzeria, Prenel, Kisiti, and Wellness. God damn it. I want to guess Italy, but I know it's probably not Italy, right? Progni, Caven. Uh, could be Czechia, I think. I hope. We got a nice old school. I don't think that's a Dacia. We got a Mercedes-Benz truck with Stahl on it. Uh, it Maybe a dot .com on the back. Weird fucking phone number. Oh, God. I don't think it's... Yeah, let's go Slovakia. 
This is supposed to be a guessable world, right? So we're supposed to be able to find some good clues on it. We know we're going to be in the EU. But is that really a good clue for a minute? We probably went the wrong way. And we probably looked at something for way too long. Uh, and it ends up being Serbia. So could have been a better guess. Uh, but we're kind of on the right longitude. Kind of. I know it doesn't make up for anything, guys. Uh, this is the United States or Canada. We get the yellow divider line. Uh, if I don't think it's going to be Alaska. It definitely feels like there's too many trees and they're kind of tall. Although it very well could be. I think I'm leaning more towards the Pacific Northwest. Although this, yeah, this is miles per hour, so it's not Canada. Let's go over here somewhere. Maybe we can get away with like Pennsylvania here. Maybe. It, it's a mountainous area. Maybe Colorado? I'm not too sure. I've never been to Colorado. We know we're in the United States, and that's what matters. The issue is the United States is big, just like Russia's big, just like Brazil's big. Uh, so a poor guess here, that's just almost no fucking points. Not how we want it. Definitely beautiful, definitely something we're not too familiar with and seeing, uh, because where I come from ain't so great. Let's go over by here. Fuck it. Uh, and it ends up being Oregon, not Washington. So we, again, had the right general area. We were going this way, not this way. Over by Detroit Lake in Detroit, Oregon. Some people may have found Detroit and went with Michigan there. And that would have screwed them. Uh, but we're already doing three times fucking better than last time. Uh, South America, probably. The 25th of May definitely south america uh sun is to our north so it's not mexico or guatemala it could be colombia could be ecuador could be argentina chile peru uruguay doesn't feel like uruguay because it doesn't feel very european doesn't feel brazil although we only really saw the 25th of may on a street sign uh, maybe that is enough to say that it's not brazil i think we're gonna get away with argentina here like in this area of Argentina uh, for no apparent reason I didn't find any clue tip or trick uh, along the way that led me to guess where we're guessing it's just it it feels that way and I think it feels that way from experience uh, we do have the dirt roads that do come up every now and then we don't really have any good clues information hoping for yeah and it ends up being Argentina except it ends up being more south more towards the middle of the country uh, so we're all going to walk away with a lot more points this time around. Uh, so moving definitely does help. However, even with moving, a minute is really fast. And that's, I think, the point of it. Uh, if we would have found that Bolivia uh, border crossing sooner, we would have been able to do something with it. However, we were more distracted by underwear in the street market. So we did not. Now, high score is going to be Roland with Simi really not too far behind. And then Granis who usually crushes these, uh, coming in third. Looks like Wolf Trekker's in 10th, and we're in 17th. Now, this did just start. So I wouldn't be surprised if we dropped from 17th to, like, 40th. Uh, but it looks like we have 41 people who have played so far, which is amazing. That really is. Uh, but there we go. There's there's two, two leagues in one day. Normal timed episode. It's almost like we planned this. We didn't, but it's almost like we did. Also, good job to Roland. Two league wins. Well, not we don't know if he's going to win for sure yet. Uh, but it was, it's looking like two wins so far. A lot of clues, I'm guessing, you found. But we already know Roland just crushes it anyway. Simi doing really good in all these rounds. As well as... This is the first time I see Granis today. And then Wolf Trekker doing pretty good as well. Uh, clearly, we have a lot to improve on. But it looks like people are guessing around the same area that I was. Uh, except for Peru and what appears to be uh, Serbia. So a few things we still have to learn, it seems like, but I think we can pull it off, and I think we can come in top 25 in both leagues, which is our goal, top 25. It's not a high goal, but it's a goal nonetheless. But until uh, tomorrow, guys, thank you all so much for being here. There will not be any links in the description because our links for tomorrow's YouTube and Twitch were posted on yesterday's video, which I believe was New Islands. Something to deal with New Islands. Uh, so if you guys are looking for those links, you're going to find them on that video. 
this is just the leagues. We're going to call it there. Thank you all so much. I look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow. And uh, Europe is now in line with the United States' time. This was going up at 3 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys came here an hour early and you were like, where's the video, math? Daylight savings happened for you guys. I'm still uploading at the same time. It's just you guys now are an hour further ahead. So it's a five-hour difference now instead of a four-hour difference. But until tomorrow, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And bye-bye.